Happy New Year from Australia! Hello everybody, it's Stella here and Tarrant from Maple University. This is our New Year. We didn't actually stay up for too long. This is 9 a.m. Um, Melbourne time. Yes. We didn't stay up till late because I can't stay up late anymore. We're old and tired. Yeah, well, speak for yourself. We got to... <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah. You said we are old and tired. Yeah, I am actually, yes. So I We got to 10 o'clock and we uh, briefly watched the Auckland fireworks on uh, on YouTube and then went to bed. Yeah, that's basically... Well, we experienced New Year in Auckland. I mean, there's no fireworks in um, in New Zealand. Oh, sorry, in Australia, I heard. So they cancel all fireworks in Melbourne, Sydney. And Did they? I don't know. I thought I heard that. I thought they stopped people from going to them, but still... Them. Anyway. Oh, okay. Any oh, maybe you're right. So, anyways, ta da! We have our own fireworks. Happy New Year 2021, everybody. Remember, we are in Australia. We live in future. So, if you see this, you probably see it's well, well, it's 2021. Or you might see this in 2022 or 20, 2142. Yeah, if you're watching a throwback YouTube, <laughs> if you've uh, just. <laughs> Picked up a YouTube machine from an antique store, mm -hmm. uh, whatever a YouTube machine might be, <laughs> and you're cranking through some old stuff. Um, YouTube hello machine. to you as well. There you go. So, hello, Kevin. Happy New Year and giggles. Uh, giggles, giggles. Hello. Uh, welcome to our small, humble, just chill out stream. And Alina here. Happy New Year in the future. <laughs> hello. Yes, we are in the future. We are going to play games today. Uh, yes. This is the first one. And then, so what's going to happen today? Uh, let me get back to us. What's oh, yes. gonna... That's a lot of fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, giggles, giggles. I actually played some Orchard. My first game scored 44. Yeah, that's definitely... Nice. I don't high. think I've ever gotten near 44. <laughs> you good. Like, <laughs> especially my first game. It was like, I don't know, horrible. It was like 20 or something like that. Anyways, well done. Well played. Glad you received our copy that we sent of Watch It. And our surprise first player, Mark, talking of people university. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, this is our Friday or your Thursday. The, usually I'm doing this on my own, but, you know, happens to be a public holiday. So, Taryn's with me. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a light, easy game called Track 12. Um, it's more of a background one, but also, you know, it's a good game. It's in Taryn's top. Special mention of 2020 game yeah. by Bruno Catala and Corentin Lebrun. Lebrun. Yeah, we really enjoy that. Plays like, you know, 1 to 50. So it's got solo, but you can play, you know, you can play along eventually. Maybe one day we'll do that as well if you got the, the sheet. Um, it's like Welcome to in a way. Yeah, it's a genuine bingo roll and yep. right. Um, fully, fully solo off a common set of numbers. Yes. So that's what we're going to play. We're going to chill and chat because I feel like my Thursday evening slash Friday morning Australia time chat is just kind of like whatever. <laughs> just chill. True? I suppose so. There, this last, is your time, first time? last time I played with you on a Friday, it was uh, Crystal Palace and there was nothing chill about that. No, that was on this Dice Tower. It's a different... Yeah. Anyways, this is on Maple University. I do whatever I want. <laughs> um, anyways, so that's a game. And then um, this would be an hour or less, less than an hour. And then we're going to go ahead and unbox a whole bunch of... It was actually one game, Kingdom Rush, with how many boxes is that all up? One, two, three, four, five, six, six boxes all up, including... I think all of the expansion upgrades, or almost all. So excited about that. That's coming soon. Uh, and then um, we are going to start now, Taryn. Shall we start? Let's start. So everyone else in the US or Canada or whatever, wh wh uh, wherever you are, you probably like... I mean, in Europe, it's probably almost, almost New Year's, I would imagine. It should be. Usually when we come on at this time on a Sunday, it's yeah. um, 12 or 1, so... Yeah, so that's good. Um, yeah, and then, you know, Happy New Year's Eve for now. And then you probably... This, you know, 2021 is going to be a better year. Yeah. Hopefully. Okay. And Taron, um, also going to share his jokes. Okay, ready, um, ready to go? <laughs> you look not so impressed. Come on, your joke was so, so I funny. I don't remember my jokes from last The time. melon one. Yeah, that wasn't funny. Ah, and the last one. I don't remember what Hospitality. No? Hang on. Was that the melon one? No. A man and a dog 
walk with a big piece of fruit? That was um, a man has a. Yeah, I don't know. Ah. Uh -huh. It was no. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was Terence bad dad joke, but I really enjoy it because yeah. it's so dead joke. Okay, come on. Let's Just one. One. Um, please, please. Just pick one. I I don't remember what the jokes were. Okay, I was, let's I was coming up with the setups without punchlines, then hoping a punchline would <laughs> would emerge. I never did. You did. Was one. The last one was funny. Anyways, I've got I've got this one still. Terence's joke of uh, gloom heaven guards, which says what does it say? I can. Uh, so there's a sneeze power up here, and you can uh, add extra sneeze damage mm -hmm. by spending the wind elemental. Mm -hmm. um, and then you've got uh, the open your eyes power over here. And then there's the uh, have your cake power down here, which gives you a cake token. Yeah. And then the eat your cake heal too down there. So, <laughs> so eating cake is actually good for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Al Alina said, oh, now we need to know about the melon. Oh, come on. Oh, Ben, hello! hello. Uh, I haven't checked my message. You might probably message us back about playing games. Anyways, um, hello, Ben, you up early. Um, we, we up early-ish, but because we didn't stay up so late. <laughs> We're pretty much on our normal schedule. Almost, just a little bit later. We watch New Zealand turn into New Year's. Anyways, um, what was I was saying? Um, Joy is saying hi to hello. hello. I am suspecting you just got up or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now Alana wants to know about the melon. No, they want to know how the game. Plays. Okay, we'll we'll probably come back to that. Okay, if everyone can confess Taryn to share his bad dad joke. Sorry, I keep saying your your joke is bad, but oh, it is. That's why I'm not telling it. <laughs> All right. Speaking about jokes. Oh, okay. No, no, no. See, I told you to chill out. I do have something to share. Oh yeah, it's New Year, so you can get started on that desk calendar. So I do have this. Sorry, everybody. I told you it's a you know it's a chill out one. So ooh, Ben says we're baking a cake. Mm. What cake? Like this cake? Like morning cake. cake. Morning cake. <laughs> so we have this like okay. I'm gonna put it here. Um, why well, yeah, Happy New Year and Eve! Oh my gosh, it will be like 5 p.m. in Canada or six or something like that. So everybody. This is, I'm so proud of this. I actually got this calendar. That's a 2020 calendar. That's why it's <laughs> <laughs> that's a, what? It's so, oh, so sad. I didn't even see it. I guess that's why it was cheap. Oh. I hope that one was a 2021 calendar. I can't believe it. Okay, this is going to be the joke for the whole year. I accidentally got 2020 calendar. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay. I didn't even realize it until now. Okay, so you, you went. You just have to add two <laughs> days to the date, and then after February, because there was a February 29th last year. Oh my gosh! Ah, uh, uh, this is embarrassing. But that's okay. I only no, it's not embarrassing actually. I don't care. But then it's just like disappointing that it's 2020. Now I have to buy another calendar. It also means that anyone who had that calendar, well, no, you still got that's the date. So, so, I got it. It's not even like on special. It was at like Kmart, which is mm. like Target in the US or something. Oh my gosh, um, and then Wayan says it's 2pm still working. Oh my gosh, like who have thought, God, actually, anyways, I still want to share this joke. This is so sad. What a great start to 2021. <laughs> no, that's alright, it was a 2020 mistake. 2021 is still, still good. So I had to go and get this one. Ah, so sad. Okay, anyways, I'm going to share the first joke. Yeah, take that away. <clears throat> so I just have to add two days to... The date. <laughs> I can't believe. I was like so proud. I was like, I'm sitting my test for the last two weeks or something like that. I was like, ooh, 2021, it'll be good. Like, I didn't even know. <laughs> okay, here's the first joke. Just remember to tear off two at the end of February. Okay, fine. What does a cow do on January 1st? Say, Happy Moo Year. That's a good one. Well done. So it says, it makes its Moo Year's resolution. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, hey, well done, Taryn. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it's a better joke with an antelope because then it's <laughs> then it's New Year, GNU Year. <laughs> okay, next one. What do you call a polar bear in the Caribbean? Hot. Lost. That's close. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close. Okay. Knock knock. Who's there? Abby. Abby who? 
Happy New Year! Yeah. That's some <laughs> that's some theme. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, just uh, just okay, let's let's play a game now, everybody. <laughs> yes, I can still giggle giggle fair. I can still enjoy it regardless. I was planning to like post it some of it on Twitter and it was like now everyone has to suffer like last year's joke, but still you know. <sighs> can't believe it. Mm. Anyways, let's play a game. Yes. Darren. We have here Mont Tarant. Mot Taran and Stellar Mountain. Yeah, so fundamentally we're trying to, uh, we'll be putting numbers into all these mm. little circles based on the dice and we need to make clusters of matching numbers and chains of numbers that are in sequence, one, two, three, four, five or something like that. And then we score points based on so each cluster or each chain scores its highest number, or its number for a cluster, uh, plus one for every other circle in the chain. And then you get points for your longest or biggest cluster, and then you lose points for any uh, orphans that aren't in a, num in a chain or cluster. Um, and it's a little tricky because when you put a number down, you can only join it to one cluster or one chain. So if I've got you know, one, two, four, five, or something like that. I can't put a th three in the middle and join it up. I can only uh, choose one of those chains to go to. And this is very, this is good. This is, this is very restrictive. So this game is um, obviously, as I said earlier, one of the, uh, the designers Bruno Kala, and his Twitter account is actually Mountain Man. So this is about the mountain. I think he likes the mountain. That's probably why the theme is mountain. That's that's what he said when I met him at Essen, anyway. Yeah. Last year, last, no hang on, two years ago, Ooh, yeah. not last year anymore. And then when we, uh, so when we place a number, it's going to come from rolling these two dice. One of them runs from one to six and the other one runs from zero to five. We roll it and then we choose whether we want the lower number, higher number, the difference, the sum or the product of those two numbers. Can't be below zero, can't be above 12. And you can only use each operator four times mm -hmm. per game and there's 19 here altogether so uh, that's where it's going to become restrictive as we go through we're going to um, we're going to run out of our ability to make big numbers out of plus mm -hmm. and multiplication and FYI that's one of the three available maps at the start because it's kind of like mm -hmm. it's actually a campaign game which I'll, I'll probably show you later and he saying hello to Milo you made it hello. Netherlands what time is that in Netherlands um, and then giggles giggles Mont Tarant, not quite a mount of a mountain. So what's the story behind Mont Tarant? I think it's just French for mountain, isn't it? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe Mont is also um, short for Montana. Montana Tarant actually has a nice ring. Montana Tarant. Oh yeah, Mont Tarant. It sounds evil because it just reminds me of Montana Max from the Tiny Toons. Really? He was the, yeah, Montana. He was the equivalent of Yosemite Sam because they picked a mountain that was near. Yes, Sam, it stayed near, yeah. Montana Taron. Yeah, it has gone right. Okay, so everyone can um, for it. Oh, give me a suggestion if you want for my uh, mountain. I'm not entirely happy for my mountain name. Anyways, in the meantime, let's roll. First round. So there are uh, how many? Three. 19. So that means we can use three and then mark off the lowest number, or three, mark off the highest number, or zero, three minus three is zero, or plus is six. And times is nine. Right, how? Correct. Ki cute. I was well. <laughs> I'm gonna say cute. Cute. Mm -hmm. So I go ahead, put zero, and then I cross off the minus. So that means I've used that up. So you can only use one um, line up to four times again. And you are nine. Okay. I'm going to take the opportunity to use a nine. That's actually a good idea. I don't know why I didn't do that. Ah, great. But now all subsequent numbers, I mean, you can just, you can start making a cluster of zeros. Not that that's worth very many points. I oh, know. Um, so what I'm hoping to do is make a giant chain that runs nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. But mm -hmm. every subsequent, oh, why did I leave that there? That was, that was very silly. I don't know. Um, okay. I just choose. So I use the highest one, which is three, and then I put three there. Oh no, and then you're right, you did say I can't make clusters of stuff. 
I can probably can I come back later on? No, I can't come back later on. Ah, uh, and then you have to do it like next to your thing. Yes. Oh no. You know what? I'm gonna put zero. Why not? So when I do that, so I put the lowest one, which is zero, and what's zero minus three? It's minus three. 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 Zero minus three is minus three. You can't really do that. Three minus zero is three. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, it has to be that one, of course. Do. Um, so when you create a cluster of the same number next to each other, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Then you mark it off. Like in the book, it's actually you mark it like do that. Um, do a pattern. A pattern. So I'm going to put a pattern of X here to indicate it's the same area. Yes. Um, and let's say, oh, Periscope, uh, from Periscope, sorry, from Twitter, uh, Thing 20 Game made it. Hello, I'm having weird internet delays. Have fun, you two awesome folks. Hello, thank you. Thank you for dropping in a little bit. Uh, Milo say in about 45 minutes, then you are here in Netherlands. So don't know if I can watch the whole stream. That's okay. Like, thank you for, you know, dropping in quickly and say hello. All right, huh? next. This will be a quick game, I reckon. And we have to do the um, unboxing soon. Ooh. All right. Ooh. So I don't really want a five. So I'm going to take the higher one and do a three. Mm hmm. Hey, <laughs> so cute. Okay, two and three. Again. Sorry. Look at mine. Ah, oh, it doesn't really matter this one, really. I'll do another three. Ready? <laughs> yep. What? Does anyone have New Year's resolution? And if you do, what is it? What are they? What are they? So, it's not a must. Like, I'm saying, like, do you have it? Because Taryn doesn't have it. I do. I want to read more books. Hey, that's good. Ooh. Six and four. I can make a ten out of that. That's worth. Um, six that minus just, four is two. That just earned me eleven points. Uh, six times four is too much. Six times four is twenty-four. I can't put twenty-four. The highest one is six. The lowest one is four. Or I can have two. Which I don't want any. I kind of like block myself in not a good position mm. there. You can make it a cluster of twos. Yeah. Or you can start on some big numbers because you need big numbers to to score big points. Yeah. And Every cluster is worth its highest number plus change. That's actually true. Let me just put 10 here then. Just see what happened. Okay. Do it again. Why I'm health, healthy and spend less. Spend less on what? Board games? <laughs> it's like I prob that's probably a good idea. I want to spend less as well. Spend less on Amazon. <laughs> three and two oh, three and again. Three. I'm using up all my highs on um, yeah. on a cluster of threes, which might not be a sensible thing to do. Mm. Yeah, I'll go for it. Might be okay. Yeah, I want to read more books. I want, including audio book or whatever. I just kind of like self-development because I kind of like like the idea of doing that but then it just run out of time every time all right next one is one and six ish hmm interesting I think my dreams of going ten nine eight seven six five four three two one <laughs> which would have been very uh thematic yeah. For this time. <laughs> what is it? Um. Six and one. Uh, why Yan says spend less on everything, especially Amazon. <laughs> well, you too. Is that you or are you just like same with me? Um, that's definitely me. Spend less on Amazon. Although I want to keep Amazon Prime because it's good. Anyways. Um, Plus uh, is the only way to get a seven. So I'm going to take a seven. Yeah, not. And you get minus point, right? Minus three for an orphan. Thing? Correct. Mm -hmm. 
that is sad I can't really put anywhere mm, I think it's probably one is good so I'm gonna put one here so okay at least it's connected zero and one <gasps> Two. I can make another three and I'm kind of getting a big three cluster so that's probably the most valuable thing I can do with those low numbers probably but I'm running out of pluses so I'm yeah robbing myself of mm. the capability to uh, to the and YN have been on uh, been on Amazon on everything since pandemic. The borders are closed and can't go shopping. That's actually true. <laughs> it's a, Amazon is so good, so easy. Amazon member um, get it for free, and I can get things from US like Amazon US for free if I spend like fifty dollars per cent. I was like, I've got like I got a dozen of pants. Well, you, you can't get the pants here, and I love a good pen. I've got what is it? What have I got? I don't know. You don't tell me all of them. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to tell you now. That Maybe next week when I stream on my own and hopefully Taryn doesn't watch the stream. Continue, please. And then Sean, Happy New Year both and to all others from that way. Yeah, Sean is here. Welcome to our streams. I would chill out, do whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you probably missed, but I accidentally bought a 2020 calendar. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's it. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna use my last plus to make an eight. Sorry. If only those that eight and seven had come the other way around. Sorry. Sorry, Tanat. But where will I put this eight? Mmm. I'll go there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't like how much I'm limiting my own options now. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't make a seven anymore. Sorry. But I can do a difference with that and expand my cluster of threes. Okay, I'm going to do that. It's an interesting game, this one, because the economy of where you get your points is is not obvious. You sort of feel like it's, oh, I'm going to try to make make all these clusters. But if you make a bunch of three or four size clusters, it's not worth very much. Your best way to make points is to have a lot of small clusters, really small clusters or chains with high numbers in them. Oh, that's um, right. Good idea. Or make mm -hmm. a really, really big cluster because by the time you... I'm about to add my seventh uh, three onto this and so every subsequent one I'm adding is worth mm -hmm. five points plus the okay. point for the circle itself. It's actually a good point. Milo said missed the explanation in the beginning so lots of numbers so you want to quickly go through it. It's, it's a really simple game. You roll two dice, you use one, uh, you pick you a use, number. You use one mm -hmm. operator so you can pick the lower, the higher, the difference, the sum or the product as long as it's not above 12 or below zero. You have to cross off the operator and you can only use each operator four times per game. So that's 20 possibilities with 19 circles. And your points come from any cluster of matching numbers or any chain of sequential numbers. Scores its highest number plus one for each other circle in the cluster. Okay, down. And then um, and then your longest chain and longest cluster are worth points as well. Ooh, you can double up some tens. I know, I'm so happy. Very good. Those fives are very useless to me. Sorry. Mm, this is a triangle area. So you either chain it together, like up or down, or the same number of clusters. You're welcome, Milo. Milo! Oh, <laughs> right. I have to do that. 
Yeah, I think I should take the lower one to make a cluster of fives because then a, a six that comes later, I can probably chain it up. Mm. Yeah. So cute. Like carefully crafted and drawn. Five and two. Excellent. Hmm. Oops, eh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to keep working on my threes. Five times two is ten. That's good. That's really good. Oh, yes. Okay. Next, please. Um, roll. Roll. One and one. One and one. And I don't have my plus anymore, so I can't make a... I can't put a two next to my threes. Ugh, what am I going to do with this? My zero clusters are so bad. I shouldn't do that. It's worth, a, yeah. It's only worth a point, but at least it makes them non-orphans. Yeah. Like zero. Yeah, it's so bad. Maybe I should. You know what? Too late. That's okay. That's okay. So, um, if anyone is to live like Milo. So, by the way, this, um, there's a different type of maps, and the bolt one, you can only do a maximum of, was it six or something? Six. The harder one to claim, and it is actually a campaign game. So, it's got envelopes, so more, look, look, it's quite thick, so there are more brawls, I assume, I don't know what that is yet, or what, we, I haven't actually looked at it yet, but yeah, it's like, it's oh, shit. By the open flap. Nah, not me. <laughs> It comes like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah! I also like the um, the side of the <laughs> box here. You got this little uh, coffee so drinking mountaineer. Cute. Lumberjacks. That's not lumberjacks. And lumberjacks um, guy uh, have a break. Coffee. There you go. This is the French version that we're uh, mm -hmm. that we're playing here. Yeah. All right. Let's do a turn. Good roll. Good roll. Ah. What mm -hmm. is that? <laughs> well, at least I can de-orphanize my one. Whatever. Two <laughs> and one. Look, look how um you know. Oh, you're almost almost the same as well. You're basically the same. Uh, two and one. But I finished all my pluses like half a game ago. Okay, um, I'm gonna do one, do one, probably. One, it's not often. Okay. What I need oh, is no, two can... threes and a six. Yeah. I closed off the number 10 cluster, so sad. Ooh, what's that? Two and four. So that's either six or eight. Or two or four. Or two or four. Mm-hmm. I think the four makes the most sense for me here. Hmm. Okay, this is a gamble. Okay. All right. Ah. Oh, I'm gonna have an orphan. Oh. So sad. It was one or two. Sorry. Yeah, that was yeah. one. I somehow moved it as I. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just mm -hmm. used my last highest. I know. Oh, I'm definitely. I've got an orphan here, so sad. So right, I can. Oh no! I've got a multiplication left. Yes, another three. Hmm. So sad. Okay. Okay. Come on, high number. Ah. Oh. Five and one. Yeah, that works. Yeah, it's so bad. There you go. This is orphan. Aww. Oh, three orphans! This is so sad! Mm. <laughs> it's, it's gonna cost me a lot of points. Anyways, let's yeah. count my, Let's go yeah. mine first. So this is orphan, so you get... Let's scrabble that. Uh, it's actually say, put uh, sad, sad face. face. Sad face, sad face, sad face. So that's minus... Minus nine. Ah. Okay, yours zero. Uh, yep. No, ah, 
<laughs> and then the, the clusters. So this cluster. That's a chain. Sorry, chains first. Yep. Yeah, a chain. So the chain is there are three in the chain. Uh, it's worth two. Uh, it's worth the highest number plus one per chain. So two plus one plus one is four. <coughs> yep. And then the next chain is this one. Uh, one. The highest one is five. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next chain is this one. Yep. <coughs> Only worth two. Yep. So one plus one is two. Next chain is this. Twelve plus one is thirteen. And, and that's it. That's it. And your longest chain is six long. Mm -hmm. This one. So that means it's ten. You go. Mine are all two length chains, so this is definitely worth nothing. I've got 10 plus 1 is 11, 4 plus 1 is 5, 8 plus 1 is 9, 5 plus 1 is 6, and 2 plus 1 is 3. Mm -hmm. So that's 16, 25, 34. Uh, I don't know if you can get it in the Netherlands, like even in Australia, this is an advanced kind of review French copy with some English translation, but it's not officially in yet. Um, I was hoping that even one day we can play together, like online, if you, you know, free. I'll probably will do it sometime in February or something like that. You know, um, I can probably like send you the sheets and just like play online. That would be fun. Mm. Yes. All right. Now it's uh, clusters. Mm -hmm. So, so you go first. I've got a cluster of fives, which is worth five, six. Five plus one is six. Yep. Wow. And a huge cluster of threes. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Very good. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine big, which is worth Whoa. twenty-five. So not as much as I thought it would be, actually. So that's seventeen plus twenty-five is forty-two. Wow for a final score of 76. Well done. So mine is 000, zero, zero here. So that's a cluster of zero. So zero, one, two, just so bad. And then the other cluster is the triangle, so 10, 10, 11, 12. Um, and then I believe that's it. So the three cluster is only worth one and that becomes 15. 15. This is so sad. So. This is um, this part is for the variance uh, or the campaign or whatever. So thirty nine plus fifteen is minus nine. It is forty five. Oh, so sad. <laughs> well done, well done, Taryn. Oh. Good game. And for the games we've played on this map, um, high sixties, low seventies has been a typical sort of score. Mm -hmm. Um, I really liked that last time with like a 90 yeah, something. So 45 good. is actually yeah, on the low side. So let's so have a look at the other map. So it's basically the same this one, but it has the one that you can maximum put number six. Adds to, yeah, it adds two things. These danger spots, which mm -hmm. if you look at the map, they align with like crevasses and things, which is pretty cute. Um, those, you're not allowed to put a number higher than six. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make those big high scoring clusters with 10s and 12s and things, you've got to fit them in the other bits. And it's a more, you've got less flexibility. You've got less things you can leave open because it doesn't have this big, that's not on the no. camera. No. It doesn't have this big cluster of uh, circles that are all together. You've got, you're more likely to get limited. Mm -hmm. Uh, by space. And FYI, we laminated out, so that's why you see us scribing the things out because we laminate the L's. And that's this one as well. So, similar, similar, uh, no additional mechanics there, so it's still a bit. Uh, it's a few thing. more shorter paths, and then you can see again. I like the theme yeah. here. You've got this danger area. Yeah, it's just this big sheer rock face. Yeah, I want to see some that are like themed around mm -hmm. real 8,000 climbs. And this one, I don't know if this is like part of the envelopes, but it's open, so I should probably like not put it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's already open. Um, so, and then that one, which is the one that we play. And there's this one, which is, you know, 
I imagine there's like extra rules and extra sheets. So do these get open by scoring what, by completing one of these? Like I've just done a, a cluster of seven. Does that mm -hmm. mean we're allowed to open this? Uh, no, I think this, I don't know. I haven't actually read that part yet. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So there's like different more even even different or even more maps available. Um, Presumably, we don't know if they're maps. Yeah, so that is. But it's called track twelve, so 12. I assume there's twelve. Give me the boss, maybe. Oh, it's on the corner as well of this bed. There you go. Track twelve. I like the box. It's like compacted as well. Yeah, and I like the color palette on here as well. And this game is in this a special mention of Terrence Games of twenty twenty. Yeah, I yeah I thought I, I spoke about this in our our top ten video. Um, I was a little bit surprised how you know, Roland Wrights came as they left as quickly as they came. I yeah. suppose there weren't a lot of Roland Wrights this year, no. and a lot of the a lot of them sort of felt like things I'd done before. Yep. This one was, and I exclude Cartographer's Heroes because it's. Um, you know, it's a standalone, but it's essentially the same game with a couple yeah. of bits of expansion, which is still fun. In terms of new, simple roll and writes, I really do enjoy. Um, I enjoy this one. I like the, you know, the way you've got to manage this, and the fact that the scoring economy is unusual, and you've got to sort of think, all right, what is going to score me the most points? Yeah. Yeah. It's and plays online neat well. Little, neat little game, and yeah, it is one of those. Um, yeah, bingo. Yeah. I call it a bingo style, where essentially you could have one person call it out, and then everyone plays the same number and sees what happens. Would you be interested? Just let let us know if you are interested in playing this live, because what is oh here? Yeah. Um, and that's it, everybody. We are time. actually uh, we're going uh, to jump on uh, to our next stream. Um, I'm gonna quickly ca uh, show you. This is everything. Yes, everything. I'm gonna quickly show you what we've got here that we have to deal with. <laughs> Not deal with, but ta da! So we've got oh, on my mouse and stuff. We are going to do unboxing of in the brush. Da -da -da. So all the boxes, all the I think it's all the expansions. We actually play this live. I don't know, um, some of you might have remembered, but um, I don't know. This is like a second copy with everything, so yeah, not complaining. So yeah, this is the main box. We unbox this and we unbox the rest. Um, it's the next hour on the dot. Yes, which will be uh, our exciting. If if you don't want to watch, uh, if you're in Central European time mm -hmm. and you don't want to watch the Village Peoples, you can't stop the music. That was exciting, though. Well, I, I assume it's not the case, but they always, one of the channels here always plays that um, when it turns to New Year, which I guess means, I've never seen it, I guess it must be a New Year's theme movie, because oh. it just seems to be this tradition that they always uh, Have? they always play it over midnight. Okay, so this is what, is this coming so next? So if you don't want to watch that, you can watch us open these boxes. <laughs> or you can just watch it afterwards, just see, you know, just a chill out one, a short one, I'm just going to open it, and then hopefully play it after that. With all the expansions, not all the expansions, but some of the expansions. We'll play a scenario. Okay, all that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> laminating is so convenient, Milo said. Yes. So that's it, everybody. Thank you for hanging out with us and chat and in the new year. Happy New Year. So I'm going to put it on again for everyone. Shoot old Lang Sun, my dear. Sign. I should probably like do it from the start because why are you like why I did na 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 I don't know lyric. <laughs> Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old lang sign, my dear. I actually don't know all the words. <laughs> Bastard. Yeah, okay, before we go. Karen, would you like to share your bad dad joke about melon? Don't expect anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, I met a man with a large piece of fruit and a large dog, but he was still sad. I told him to stop being so melancholy. <laughs> 
So he was weird. Okay, so the story is that, like, because that man... It helps to say that it's the melon joke, because now people know to split the word melancholy off. Oh, yeah. Into melon So the dog is a collie, a border collie. Yes. And then the fruit that he's bringing is melon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you don't call it the melon joke, there's actually, there's actually no way a sane, rational person would take that punchline and work out what it means. So. And happy new year already from Netherlands. Woo! You stay awake late, like while we like. <laughs> <laughs> so what's okay? Anything else, Taryn? Any other jokes? No. That's it. That's okay, it. the second Taryn's bad dad joke. Uh, I, I should stop saying bad dad jokes. Taryn's dad jokes is when we unbox Kingdom Rush. Hmm. <laughs> Complaints. I'll just take it off the. I'll take the 29th of February out of the calendar and read those because we don't need that. Okay, the 2020 <laughs> calendar. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, all, it's all good it's all good okay that's it that's it bye everybody no. what are we? Oh, this is what we played <laughs> you're like hidden behind that box there yep uh -huh. okay bye everybody uh i may see you in our next stream on the hour in about 20 minute ish or may not um otherwise we are also streaming uh -huh, as usual <laughs> on on Saturday evening slash Sunday morning our time, Red Outpost. Yes. What do I sound like Can Canadian? Red Outpost. Red Outpost. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>